everybody, this is Miss Morrow, and today we're going to be practicing adding and subtracting on a 120 chart. Now, normally in my class, I use this big 120 chart because it's laminated and we can write on it and erase, and it's really good to use, but it's too big to fit under my camera. So, for today, we are going to use a paper 120 chart so that you can see the whole chart and see what I'm doing. Now, if you would like to play this game at home, you are going to need a deck of cards. I've taken out all of the king, jacks, queens, and kings, and I've kept the other cards. I'm keeping my ace because I'm going to count that as a one, and I'm keeping my tens because we're going to have some tens sometimes, or you could use some dice. So I have my dice in a small container so that we can shake them and they don't roll all over the place. But And I'm using 10-sided dice. You can get these at any um, game store that sells dice or you can order them off of Amazon. Anyway, so we have 10-sided dice. So for this game, you would play this with a partner and you and your partner are gonna decide, are you trying to make the biggest number? Are you trying to make the smallest number? Are you trying to see who can get closest to 100 without going over? Are you trying to see who can get closest to 1 without going under? So there's lots of games that you can play with your partner. So I've shuffled my deck and I'm going to deal my two numbers. So I have 13 because I have a 1 and a 3. And I'm going to do an addition game. So I'm going to add a 9 and a 5. Now I can decide to keep this as 95 or I can change it to 59. So for this game I'm trying to make the biggest number so I'm going to change 13. I'm going to change my digits to have 31 and then I'm going to add 59. We'll see if that gives me a bigger number than my partner. So the first thing I'm going to do is find 31 on my hundreds chart. So 31 is right here. And I'm going to be adding 59. That means I'm adding 5 tens and 9 ones. So I'm going to count 5 tens going down. So 1 ten, 2 tens, 3 tens, 4 tens, 5 tens. I'm making 5 jumps. So right now I'm at 81. That's not my answer because I need to also add nine ones. To add ones, I'm going to count going one by one. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my answer is 90. So I know 31 plus 59 equals 90. If you want to record the work that you're doing, you are welcome to write on the back or on another sheet of paper the work that you did. And we figured out that that was 90. Okay? Now it's my partner's turn. So my partner is going to draw their cards. They have a 10 and a 4. So 10 and 4 make 14. Or, and this is where the tens kind of can become a wild card, you could make your four a ten, so four tens would be forty, and another ten would make that fifty. So our ten kind of acts like a wild card. So my partner is going to make fourteen, and then they're going to draw two more cards. They drew an eight and a two. So they're going to start at fourteen, and they're going to add 82. So now it's my partner's turn. They're going to start at 14. Here's my 14. And they're going to add 8 tens. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They added 8 tens to 14, and they're on 94. Now we need to add two ones, one, two. So they landed on 96, and they can record their problem that they solved on the back. They did 14 plus 82, 
and they got 96. So my partner would have won this game. Now, if you're playing on a dry erase board, you could just erase your problems that you and your partner solve and do a new problem. I am using paper today, so I'm gonna use a new sheet of paper to show the next game. So that was playing with addition. Now let's work with a game using subtraction. So again, this is a game that you would play with your partner. So I have a nine and a 10. So I can make that 19, because 10 and nine make 19. Or I can choose to make nine my 10, which would be 90. And 10 more than 90 would be 100. So I could make my number 100 if I wanted to, because remember my 10 is the wild card. So then I have two and three. I can make that 23, or I can make that 32. So I'm going to make this number 32 and this number 19. I wanna subtract 32 and subtract 19 from that. So this time I'm doing subtraction. I'm gonna start at 32 and when I subtract 19, I'm gonna count back 10. So that means I need to go backwards 10 to 22. And then I need to count back nine. So I'm gonna count one. Watch how I do my hop to get to 21. This is two, and I'm still gonna count that as two. Be careful, some kids will count that as two different hops. That's one hop to get from 21 to 20. So that was one hop, two hops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I landed on 13. So the problem that I solved was 32 subtract 19 and that gave me 13. 32 minus 19 gave me 13. So we're not talking about regrouping just quite yet. So I don't have to show the regrouping, I'm just recording my problem right now. If that makes you uncomfortable and you want your kids to show the regrouping, then you can talk about how when we had to cross over to that 20, that was where we would do our regrouping. So two tens will help me create 12 ones. So make sure you're regrouping both of your numbers if you are showing your regrouping, okay? Right now, I'm just having my kids record the problems. They're not quite at the regrouping stage just yet. All right, now it's my partner's turn. My partner, has a one and a seven. So they can make that 17 or they can make that 71. And they drew a 37. They can make that 73 or they can keep that at 37. So I'm gonna do 73 minus 17. So I'm keeping that as a one. So 73 minus 17. So that means my partner's going to start at 73. They're taking away 17. So they're taking away a 10. That gets them to 63. And then they're gonna take away seven once. So we're gonna go one, two, oh, we have to cross our 10 again. So this is gonna be three to get to the 60. Four, five, six, Seven. So I did seven hops. I'm gonna do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I landed on 56. So 73, take away 17, puts me at 56. Now again, if your group is not yet talking about regrouping, you can just record the problem that you showed. If you do want to have the regrouping conversation, when we crossed that 10 right here, when we had to do that extra long jump, we crossed our 10 because we could not take seven ones from three ones. We would end up with a negative number. So we had to regroup. That gives us six tens and 
13 ones. You can talk about that pattern if you want to, or you can just do the basic recording. So if I was trying to make the biggest number on this game, I would not have won because my number was 13. So my partner would have won. But if we were trying to see who could get closest to one, I would have won. 13 is closer to one than 56. Okay? We're going to do another 100 start game. This time, instead of using a deck of cards, we're going to use some dice. Maybe you have dice at your house that you would like to use to solve this. So I have four dice in here. I'm going to be the dice that has the color. My partner is going to be, my other number is going to be the dice that doesn't have the color, the white dice. So I'm going to give it a good shake and make them all settle down to the bottom. Settle, settle. And I have a 4 and an 8 and a 0 and a 4. So I could have 4 and 48, or I could turn it. I could have 84 and 40. So I'm going to start with 84, and I'm going to subtract 40. So 84, subtract 4 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm doing my 10 jumps going straight back. I would land on 44. This time, I have zero ones, so I'm not subtracting any ones. My problem would be 84 minus 40. I subtracted zero ones, so I landed at 44. Now it's my partner's turn to go. So my partner rolls the dice, and my partner has, ooh, they got a 9, a 92 and 53. Oops, I flipped it. So now it's 96, 96, 53, or we could do 69 and 35. Let's do 69 and 35. So I'm at 69. Let me choose a different color because this is my partner's turn. And they're going to subtract, what do we say? 35. So they're going to go back 1, 2, three tens, and then they're going to count back five. One, two, three, four, five. You notice how those hops were super easy and straight in a row? We didn't have to cross the ten. That means when I show my problem, there was no regrouping on this one. I was able to do 69, subtract 35, and I don't have to do any regrouping on that. I should have landed on 34, and I did. I landed on 34, okay? We didn't use a whole lot of this board. Let's see if we can still play and use this same board. So this time, it's my roll. I have a 2, a 9, a 6, a 9. So I'm going to do 69, subtract 29, just to make things interesting. So I'm at 69, I'm going to change colors because it's my turn, and I'm going to subtract 29. So I'm going to go back one, two tens, and then I'm going to subtract nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I need one big jump to make nine, and I land on the 40. So when I show 69, minus 29, I landed on 40. Now I'm going to let my partner go. So my game board is going to get really full. I'm going to use another color. Let's see, my partner can be red. I'm going to shake up my dice. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Mm, I have 61 and 1. I don't want that zero. So sometimes when I have my kids playing, I tell them if they roll a zero, they need to re-roll. So settle down in there. Oh, look, I rolled another zero. Re-roll. Another zero. Re-roll. Oh my goodness, zero's all over the place. This is craziness. Here we go. I have 72 and 30 and 23, or 20, 32 and 72, or 23 and 27. There's all kinds of combinations I can make there. I'm going to try 72 minus 23. So see what I did? My 7 and my 2 and my 2 and my 3. 
So I'm going to start at 72. Oh, this is my partner's turn. 72. And they're going to take away 23. So I'm jumping backwards. One, two tens, and three ones. One, I'm going backwards. Two, three. And they landed on 49. So 72 take away 23 puts me at 49. Notice that we had a cross to get past that zero. We had to go past 50. So anytime we do that crossing action, that means we have to regroup. If we go past the 10, see here we didn't go past the 10. We landed on the 10. So there wasn't any regrouping there. Nine take away nine is zero. If we have to go past the 10, we have to regroup. So I would show my regrouping by changing six tens and regrouping that to 12 ones. So that is a subtraction game that you can play on your hundreds chart. So you're welcome to do addition games or subtraction games using a deck of cards or rolling the dice. I hope you enjoy this game and that you are able to play this at home with your family. Talk to you later.